Actually, you met Young at the parish, or you know? yeah, I met Young in the parish. And how was that, bro? How did you guys connect? Um, we was going to court, and uh, he had a fight on the docks, you hear me? And um, I broke this up, like you know, we were trying to bush him. And I'm like, ain't about to go down like that, you hear me? So he's like, man, that's world beef. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of that, you hear me? That's you know, I fuck with dude, you hear me? So if y'all gonna fight, give him a fair shake, you hear me? Yeah. So. And that they wind up putting him in a back tank, like, man, he can't be on the docks. So like, man, you come on too. I'm not, I ain't had no fight with him, man, you come on too. So I wind up going back there. We running it. He asked me who I am. And, you know, I'm approaching him, like, bitch, I heard you be rapping and shit. I went to spitting for him and shit, here, man. After that, he just went to rapping to me. We just went to running it, here, man. I wind up checking off another tip to get on the tip by my cousin. And Youngin was on that tip. And once I went up there, you know, my cousin was like, look, you know, that's Jay Murder, that's my little cousin, you know, fuck with him. He like, yeah, I fuck with dude, I met him on the docks, whatever. And after that, we went to Megan hookups and shit, and after that, we just went to fuck with each other, writing raps and shit together, so. Connect you with, uh, with GD. GD? Yeah, for sure he did. Talk about GD, man, when you first met GD, what you think? Oh, man, this is the funniest shit ever. We were sitting there eating, and I think I was writing a rap, I was writing a song. And he was like, man, I'm about to call my manager. I'm like, yeah, man, see what's up with dude, man. See if you can link me with dude. He like, man, I'm about to call him, and I'm going to let you spit for him, you hear me? Run that song to him. I'm like, all right, bet. So he called G, you hear me? He like, man, look, you know my little son, G Murder, you know, he be spitting, you know, I want you to check him out. So he like, dead. I get on the phone. I'm like, what's up, yo? He like, man, what's up? What's up with it? I'm like, look, man, I wanted you to check me. He like, all right, what's up? What's up? I'm like, damn, man, this is <laughs> hell. So, like, he, he really ain't trying to f- what that, you hear me? I'm like, man, look, man, I had some shit I wanted. He like, all right, all right, what's up, what's up? He like, man, just spit for him. I can't afford another guilty verdict. Another life sentence? Joseph and Gola to my life, Vinton? I'd be a fool to make my mama cry. Become a victim of a homicide. Leave my fam traumatized. So when I went to rapping that shit to him, like, I do it was mine, you hear me? Like, damn. He like, man, dog, you really nice, bro. He like, man, that's young. You know, young ain't gonna put no energy on the phone and at that time he like man I wanted to tell the young I wasn't trying to hear no rap and all that at that moment you hear me he like once he heard me he knew I was with something you hear me so after that dude like man they got money on the phone I'm gonna be coming see young you know whenever I come see you know you gonna see me whatever just with me I'm gonna with you, you hear me and I'm talking about the whole time I was locked up I'm talking about GD up you know Joseph and like 10 summers you hear me and I ain't even met dude I never seen them before in person you hear me BTY popped like he was on his way, he was in jail. Right. What was going through like then? I was happy for him, hear me? I was like, that bitch finally about to do his shit. I just hope he get the f out of the city, hear me? I'm saying, I, I was always happy for his success. I felt like if he can do it, I already know it. I'm about to come home and do it, hear me? Because, like I said, we both was, I'm saying, doing the same shit on the same type of time, hear me? You know, we used to rap together, hear me? Y'all, were you, were you guys still talking? What, yeah. Like? Right, you know, he was chosen me. And then, and then you get the news. How'd you get the news, bro? I was, um, I was working on a song I was, that I was going to record with him over the phone. Damn. And, um, I wound up calling my brother, hit my phone. And he, when he called me, he like, man, what you doing? I'm like, bitch, I'm writing, you hear me? I'm about to record this song with Youngin, you hear me? He was like, man, he like, bitch, that's what I was calling to tell you. That boy got smashed, you hear me? I'm like, what you mean? He like, man, he killed that boy. That boy dead, you hear me? It's all over YouTube and everything, you hear me? And when I went on and I seen it, I was like, man, bro, I just... I ain't know what to say, you hear me? I, I, ain't, I couldn't even drop a tear, you hear me? Because I felt like I kept saying, bro, just leave the city. Mm-hmm. Just leave, you hear me? Like, the city going to follow you regardless because of who you is. You already stamped. You got status already. So... Just go ahead and push out, you hear me? For some reason, he just felt like, man, I ain't, I can't leave right now, you hear me? I ain't know his reasons, but yeah, I, I was I, I was up, you hear me? Remember Andy lost his life squeezing. Remember nights in the can doing life for my mans. On the life for my mans, I did it right for my mans. Middle finger to you. I swear my right to the man. Rick and Stewart ain't no need to holler. You dropped a dime, you don't need a dollar. Should have spoke the heat to get your breathing problems. Yeah, see, like when I got there in Gola, I met up with Buku, you hear me? Like, that was in a parish with me. You know, that was Josen with me in a parish. I ran into C Murder, hmm. Teller Hanson, and all them, you know. So, yeah, I was. 
with all them up there. Gotcha. They have to get in racial. Oh yeah, most definitely. Especially see, you know, see a red for sure. All the way around the board, you hear him? So what, what was you, you guys build a relationship? You and C used to talk oh, yeah. about it? Man, man, C used to always talk. I used to always go pull up on him, go smoke with him and shit. You know, they had the food clubs up there too, so we used to always go eat, go play ball in the gym and shit, you hear me? That's, that's for his character. Who is C? C a regular with money. I'm going to just put it like that. Like, C don't, C feel like I'm in this bitch with you. You don't got to, I ain't, you don't got to treat me like no celebrity and all that because I'm right here sleeping right next to you. You know what I'm saying? So all that, Snapping pictures of me and you don't gotta do all that, man. You ever, like, ever share any street stories with you? But we didn't talk a lot about shit. You know, I'm, like he told me about a fight he had with his manager. I think it was a manager out of security or something. You hear him? He was like, "Yeah, you know, man, the manager had a fight. I bit that bitch on his shoulder. That bitch still got it, got my teeth off. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, them goals. I'm... So yeah, I used to always be with them jokes and all that, but it's my son for real. You hear him? I with C. And uh, when, when you came home, C was still there. No, C had wound up getting uh, shipped to Hunts. You know, he had a lot of groupies and shit up there. So, you know, the people were feeling like C was just highly influenced, you hear me? Especially with the up there. So, all type. What, what, what you say? What you mean? Like, like females, you hear me? The, the guards, the, the, yeah, the, the, the guards up there. You know, everybody gonna be bringing shit, cigarettes and all that. So, people felt like, you know, to prevent that, we gotta get them to. The I don't think C ever got caught with no shit like that, but you know, used to be you know getting cigarettes, you know, cause C smoked them cigarettes, you hear me? They, you know, bring them bags of jewels and shit, and you know, be telling on a man and all that. So by him being who he is, the people gonna automatic, yeah, he he influenced in the population. Like Angola is, it's a billion dollar prison. You know what I'm saying like you can make money all through that bitch, and they check me probably. After two weeks, $2,000, $2,200 for them 12, 16 hour shifts, when you could just bring in some cigarettes, weed, or whatever, phones, whatever, man, that nigga give you $5,000 right then and there. Damn. People feel like, man, I'd rather come do this here and fuck with this here, you hear me? So, most definitely I'm gonna fuck with it, but only if you're gonna keep it, you know what I'm saying, on a low, whatever. So, that's how they was moving. Welcome home, whatever. I mean, after what, 12 summers, huh? 12 summers. Hey, you mean free me? Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do it. I don't play that shit. I didn't do it. Cut up. Like, look at how it's shit. I'm saying, I'm, yeah, I'm hey, out man, I saw you come home I said, on Instagram and I saw that uh, you guys got the champagne. You said, <laughs> yes, indeed. I know that felt that feel good. Oh man, I ain't even out of pop them bitches. I ain't lying, you hear me? Right, what was that night like being home? I mean, that bitch was, it was epic. I'm talking about because everybody was with me. A lot of, you know, a lot of the, the city showed me love for sure. I'm saying, Buku and my little partners, you know, red in a can that will f with me that I f with, all them showed me love. So, you know, I come home, you know, everybody made sure I was good, I was on my feet, you hear me? 